again. The boys are back in town. It's Northern Monkey Dan. <laughs> and let's get straight to it. Look, front tooth fell out. <laughs> Looks terrible. Step toe. Step toe. I've got another one coming and I'm not going to be all shy and cover it up. I'm just going to grin and bear it. So uh, we're in the Lake District. We've got a cracking walk coming up. Where are we going again? Uh, Skidor. Skidor and not Glen to, Catherine. Not, not today. Don't spoil it. They think oh. we'll do it all in one go. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's really tough. We've got a really tough first bit here. So uh, see you later. It's tiring business, this fell walking. I need a drink. It's getting dark soon, but just time for one pint. Only one. Cheers. Best stop ranting. <laughs> Best stop ranting. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, man. Thanks for that. Chin chin. Right, we only had one. Honest. You'll have to trust us. It was nice, though. <laughs> it's getting dark. We've got how far to go? Two miles. Two miles. Man. Two miles. That's going to be about half hour, 40 minutes. And we've got a camp spot, but it's getting dark, so uh, don't know how the yeah, footage is going to don't know how the footage is going to turn out as the light goes down. Well, I do rubbish, um, so might not be able to film. Anyway, let's get going. We got across here. across the back over from the Glen Caster side to the Skidor side oh careful well done right I would on that one. That, that lower one just, that's it. Right. <laughs> right, we're at the camp spot. It's a good one. Dan stayed here before. You can probably hear the beck right by the ground's nice and dry and soft and we're going to get dinner on the dough on the go hey dan <laughs> starving morning we survived the night <laughs> actually it was quite a calm night after a blustery evening and um, no rain and uh, there's no wind this morning 
and it's lovely and mild actually, great start. So today we're going up there via Lonscale Fell and Skidor Little Man up to the top of Skidor and then down the back of Skidor and over to Blencathra and it's going to be a long day with a lot of ascent but we've got great conditions and uh, we're both looking forward to this so when Dan's finally packed up we can crack on. That's the camp spot down there, yeah. by, the, by the bend in the river, yeah. And then we've just shinned straight up. <laughs> it's pretty steep, look at this, but a good view. So we just met Steve and Emma who are doing the Cumbria Way, day four. Day four. Day four. Last day tomorrow. Absolutely. They're feeling great, they had a wonderful day, they were telling us yesterday, <laughs> over a steak pass. Langstrath and Borrowdale. Was what? it sunny? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wind and rain everywhere, sideways. Ah. Uh, but you're. Kites on. But you're going up there now, to Colbeck and then on to Carlisle. Absolutely. Nice one. Well, enjoy yourselves. We will do, and you too. Dan might follow him. <laughs> <laughs> This V-shaped valley between the Blencathra side on the left and the Skiddor side on the right is a, it's a fault line, right, which runs for, I don't know, about 50, 60 miles through the Lake District, right dead ahead there. Um, the Lake Reservoir, Thirlmere, and then onto Grasmere and eventually Windermere is a fault line, so it's really cool. It does funnel the wind right up though, but it's calm at the moment, it's beautiful. So this path we're on now is quite flat. It contours around the front of Lonscale Fell and uh, it's very well graded and uh, nice surface. You can see it going around the hill there and it's part of the Cumbria Way and we just met Steve and Emma on the way to Carlisle. They'll be finishing tomorrow. It's taking them five days and uh, that's a good trail. I might do that one day. What a view's just opened up. Right, we turn right and shin up that steep one. Oof, that was tough. And we're both blowing a bit now, blimey. Anyway, it's the gradient's eased off. We're not quite at the summit, but we're not far. And as you can see, we're in the clag and it's probably going to be cloud all the way up to the summit of Skidor as well, but it's all right, keep going. We made it. Here's the summit, Cairn, pile of rocks, and we're totally clagged in. Oh, nice easy uh, stroll up the hill, Dan. Yeah, enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Blow the cobwebs out. Good. Fit your pacemakers. <laughs> <laughs> the Actually, honey, the Jack Daniels it, that came back up. Is there a ta an attachment on the anchor power bank uh, to plug into my heart? Because I think I need a boost. <laughs> Almost to the top of Skidor. Oh, this is a long slog up here. We're still in the cloud. There's no views at all. But uh, that's not the summit cairn just there, but it's not much further. And we'll be at the top, and I think there's a summit shelter. Out of the mist. We made it to the summit cairn, or trig point I should say. Hey. And just over here, have you noticed, there's a viewfinder. 
This will be fun, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Can you see that? Solway Firth, <laughs> Cockermouth, Bass and Thway, Isle of Man. Oh yeah, look. There it all is. Beautiful. Just descending now on the north ridge. Skiddor. Just coming down underneath the cloud. Well below the cloud now, oh, it's, and the wind's dropped because I think we're sheltered by the fell. Oh, it feels nice to go on the way down, doesn't it? And a proper path. Yes. We're going down to another one called Bake Stall now, and then further down into the valley, and on from there. So far, so good. Oh, sometimes it's great just to walk downhill to a summit. <laughs> this is bake stall. <sighs> the mists have just rolled over again. But now we turn right and follow the fence line down to the track in the valley. You're always mugging it at the camera, aren't you? <laughs> you can't resist. <laughs> down off the fell and down to the track turn right and on we go We made it to Skiddaw House, the highest hostel in Britain. <laughs> Looking south, that way, that's where we camped down in that direction and where we started uh, this morning, that V-shaped valley. And we went over to the right and there's Skidor House. Not sure if you can see that, but directly above, behind that is Skidor itself, unfortunately, covered in cloud. And then we went on and round and over and out of view in that direction and then looped back around. So we're about 10 miles in so far. Cool sheepfold, really well preserved. They're normally all in derelict, but this one looks great. Right next to the beck and the footbridge. Right, we've come quite a few miles from 
Skidor house in the distance there, about three, and we've got to cross this beck or river, and then we're heading up that valley up there. Right, we've had to sh come up the bank a few hundred yards, and this is our best chance. It's not perfect, but it's either going to be here or here. The last half an hour has been hard work. Where we crossed the stream or the beck is way back down there, way in the distance down there. And uh, it's been largely pathless up here with long grass and uh, it's a lot of boggy bits. Whew. Still, we think there's about a mile left or so and uh, we're looking for a camping spot now. So we're doing pretty well. That's about 13 miles, I think. So. Uh, it's been a good hike so far. Yeah, it's pretty steep. <sighs> How did you find that last half hour? Hour. I'm knackered now, oh dear. Right, we were originally gonna go up Blen Cathra when we planned this walk, but how far have we done? 14, uh, 14 miles now, ish? Uh, yeah, yeah ne nearly enough. Ish, and it's uh, over our shoulder up there, up that steep path just above Dan's head there. And then in the mist beyond that black crag, that's sharp edge way off Blen Cathra and it's, uh, Still a lot of elevation, very steep. And we haven't got the energy. <laughs> and we haven't got the daylight either to get up and camp and, or even come down and camp. So we're gonna carry on. And um, I'll just show you the view over my shoulder. So there's the path we were planning to take up there. There's a chap actually nearing the top now. He looks well energetic. <laughs> More energetic than me. There's sharp edge there in the mist. And the path runs all the way down this valley. Downhill, Dan. Oh, yeah, man. Downhill. There's a bit of sunshine there, about 15 miles away. Do you want to head for that? <laughs> We're going to try and see if we can find a camping spot down this valley. And there, if we can't, the car's not too much further on anyway. So let's see. On we go. So we got a pitch, it took us a while to set up. It's nearly dark now, there's Dan in his tent. We're next to the river. And if I just spin down, you can see the ridge line coming down. We go over that tomorrow and it's not far down to the car. Right, we're packed up. Here's my camping spot. Leave no trace, apart from flattened grass. And the way ahead is clear as mist. That was another good camp spot last night. 
a bit bumpy but uh, soft grass and next to the beck down there the river and uh, hardly yet any wind all night a little bit dry although damp so but you know as good as you can expect really in September so uh, no sunrise today though oh <laughs> uh, well you can't have it every time can you so uh, two good camps I slept quite well actually both nights I think I've got my sleeping gear dialed in now comfortable and warm both nights and slept okay so <sighs> enjoyed that that was a tough day yesterday blimey I was pretty ragged by the end <laughs> it was um, 14 or 15 miles probably by the time we finished with over 4,000 feet of ascent uh, Dan said so uh, oof, that's about my limit in the lakes to be honest so it was a good workout pity we didn't get the views on Skidor but ah well again you can't get them every time can you We've just popped over the top of the final ridge. The path goes off where Dan's going down there, arcing down, and we're parked just down there. And what a great sight it is to see your car. It's just so close at the end. <laughs> Nearly there. And he said, what the hell are you doing that for? <laughs> Right, here we are, down by the car. The end of a three day, well, two and a half days really. Two camps, Skidor, Lonscale Fell, Bakestall, and then round the back of Skidder, which is the area of the Northern Fells, which I've seen before, but Dan hasn't, have you? Amazing, amazing. It's an area of the Lake District which is not often visited uh, because of accessibility really, and it's, um, it gets a bad press from largely from people who haven't really even been there i find <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i didn't mean that I know it was. and um but you know there's a lot of tranquility there and um there's a lot of rugged uh bleak beauty and we had some misty se sessions didn't we and there was gorgeous. um Absolutely no, gorgeous. no not much wind and a bit of drizzle but nothing really and it's uh it was great there's some cracking fells over there you can have to yourself for days so that was a good walk thanks for plotting that route dan loved it man and uh, i hope you enjoyed really it good. too even though we didn't have fantastic views we had a great time and um well hopefully not too long before the next one so yeah. see you on so the next one still working to get him out in winter <laughs> it's not happening <laughs> see you on the next you forgot to bang poles man oh, come on. on come back <laughs> hey see ya Thank you.